Dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ from India. My dear brothers and sisters, the whole world is in a crisis situation at present because of the pandemic many of the people are living in fear at this time from our heart a cry comes out In the Psalm 121, verse 1, the psalmist says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? From where will my help come at this time of pandemic and the psalmist answers my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth my help comes from the Lord the creator of heaven and earth my dear friends We are all crying for help. We are all praying for help at this time of crisis. The Holy Bible gives us an answer. When you need help, we have to go to our God. When you need help, you have to seek the protection of our Lord. In the prayers of our Syrian Orthodox Church, at the time of evening prayers, complying, we recite the Psalms 91 and 121 because our church fathers were always reciting these psalms for their protection whenever they need help they ask God to protect them through the psalm 91 and 121 Psalm 91, the psalmist says, You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, whom I trust. In the Syriac language, we sing, Yosep seto re damarai mo Hallelujah Vam telo le dalo ho Mishtabah Yosep The word Yosep means one who sits And who is the one sitting? You and me It says Yosep seto re Setore means his hiding place, his shelter. So we are sitting in his shelter. The Maraimu, whose shelter we are sitting? We are sitting in the shelter of the Most High God. So when we sit in the shelter, 
of the most high god there is nothing to be afraid of we don't have to fear anything if we are sitting in the shelter of our lord and who abide in the shadow of the almighty we are abiding in the shadow the telo lo in the shadow of the almighty god all powerful god so my dear brothers and sisters at the time of sickness at the time of a crisis we don't need to be afraid of anything if we are sitting in the shelter of our lord and our god and if you sit in the shelter of the god if you sit in the protection of our lord you will say to the lord my refuge you will say to jesus christ our lord that you are my refuge and my fortress so you are my refuge and you are my fortress and we will say again you are my god in whom i trust so jesus christ is true god of true god jesus christ is the light of light we believe in the one true lord jesus christ so if we come to jesus christ and if we cry from our heart from where my help comes we will get the answer who oh, my help comes from the creator of heaven and earth our heart will tells us that you don't need to be worried about anything you don't need to be worried about the economic crisis which is going to come you don't need to be worried about your life you don't need to be worried of anything under the sky if you have that trust in jesus so we have to tell jesus that you are my god in whom i trust you are my lord in whom i believe so nowadays the whole world they are afraid because more than 300000 people they passed away already because of this pandemic a lots and lots of people are affected by the corona virus that is why we have to affirm our faith at this time of crisis the psalmist says in psalm 91 verse 11 the psalmist says for he will command his angels concerning you god will send his angels to protect us god will send his angels to guard us in all our ways and the angels they will bear us up on their hands and god says those who love me i will deliver 
this is the point if you love jesus christ jesus will deliver us from all the evil and god is giving us a promise i will protect those who know my name this is the assurance i will protect those who know my name you and me we know the name of our god so god will protect us because we know his name and again god says when they call to me i will answer them whenever we call upon the name of our lord jesus christ see god will answer our prayers god will help us i will be with them in trouble so jesus will be with us in our trouble and i will rescue them and all of them so this is the promise given to us who love our god by jesus christ see jesus christ is giving us this promise i will be with them in trouble psalmist again says psalm 23 even though the psalmist says even though i walk through the darkest valley i fear no evil even though i walk through the valley of death even though i walk through the valley of this corona virus i will not fear because for you are with me the psalmist says the lord is with me even if i walk through the valley of death even if i walk through despair even if i walk through many kind of frustrations of life jesus is with us we don't need to fear anybody anything and the psalmist says your rod and your staff they comfort me i am i seek comfort i seek help and the psalmist says your rod and your staff they are comforting me they give me comfort so let us come to jesus let us sit in the shelter of our lord jesus christ let us be in the shadow of the almighty lord then we can say with the psalmist that we fear no evil even if we walk through the darkest valley jesus is giving us assurance through the word of god jesus is giving us comfort through the words of god always always our lord says fear not in the holy bible around 365 times it is written fear not come to me this is what jesus says matthew chapter 11 verse 28 it says come to me 
all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. We are all carrying heavy burdens. The burdens of sin, the burdens of sickness, the burdens of anxiety. Jesus says, come to me. Then I will give you rest. Here am I to give you comfort. Here am I to give you consolence. Here am I to give you everything you need. So don't be despair. Don't be in disappointments. But come to Jesus Christ. Come to the shelter of our Lord and he will give us peace. May God bless you all.